Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue the series on the most missed math questions. And today we're going to talk about quadratic equations and the quadratic formula. So on the left-hand side, I have the quadratic formula, which is actually found on your formula sheet, so I, re I recommend you use it. And what it does, it helps you solve equations that are written like the one on the right, which is called a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation has letters A, B, and C involved, but the letters actually represent numbers. And so we're going to go through a couple of examples that show you how to use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations by first figuring out what numbers are represented by A, B, and C, and then plugging them into the formula to solve for X. So let's get started. So I have an example here that says x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. And I need to figure out what is a, what is b, and what is c. a is always the number in front of your x squared term. Whenever there's not a number there, like in this case, it's always going to be 1. So I'm going to use 1. b is the number in front of your plain x term, which in this case is negative 5. And then c is always the number that's by itself with no x's after it, in this case negative 14. I'm going to take a, b, and c, I'm going to plug them into my quadratic formula and start simplifying down so I get my answer of x. So, x equals negative b, a negative negative 5 is just positive 5, plus or minus square root of b squared, which is negative 5 squared, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. Now I've plugged in a, b, and c, I can start simplifying down. So I'm going to go ahead and say x equals 5 plus or minus. Inside the square root, negative 5 squared is 25. And negative 4 times 1 times negative 14 is actually positive 56. And then I have 2 on the bottom. Okay. Now we can keep simplifying down. x equals 5 plus or minus. 25 plus 56 is 81. And 2 on the bottom. OK, let's keep going. I'm going to go up to the next column over here. x equals 5 plus or minus. The square root of 81 is 9. And then all over 2. OK? So there's a plus minus sign in the middle here. What that represents is I have two different answers. Quadratic formulas have two different answers in your solution. So you want to make sure you find both of them. So what really happens is I have x equals 5 plus 9 over 2 and x equals 5 minus 9 over 2. And each of those is my answer. So 5 plus 9 is 14. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. And then 5 minus 9 is negative 4. And negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So these are my two solutions to this quadratic formula. All right, let's look at one more example. Negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals 0. So the first thing is to find out what a, b, and c are. a is always in front of your x squared term, so I have negative 2. B is always in front of your X term, so I have positive 3. And then C is always the number that's by itself, in this case, 5. So let's plug them in and start simplifying. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B squared, which in this case is 3, minus 4 times A times C, all over 2 times a, which is, again, negative 2. Okay? Let's start simplifying. x equals negative 3 plus or minus. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And positive 8 times 5 is positive 40. All over negative 4. Okay, let's keep going. x equals negative 3 plus or minus 9 plus 40 is 49. And we can go from there. 
All right, I'm going to go up to the next column. So x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 49 is 7 all over negative 4. <clears throat> all right, so again, we have our part where we split up into two different solutions. x equals negative 3 plus 7 over negative 4 and x equals negative 3 minus 7 over negative 4. So let's look at the top one. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4, and positive 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. On the bottom, negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10, and negative 10 divided by negative 4 is actually, you can write it as positive 10 over positive 4, which will simplify down to 5 over 2, or 5 halves. So when you get to these types of equations, I hope that you'll use the quadratic formula. Again, it's found on your formula sheet. You want to figure out what's A, what's B, and what's C. Plug them into your formula and start simplifying down to your two solutions. I hope this helps. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.